welcome back to Mustang Motorsport. Um, I have Chris here from Shockworks to talk about some suspension with you guys today. Um, on the table here, we have the standard Ford strut that's in all your Mustangs um, and a range of upgraded components here. So um, some customers come in here and would like um, lowering springs to make their car look good. So we put them on these cars, fit them up to these struts. Um, we do have these upgraded uh, Ford struts that are um, suit lowering springs, so it does ride a little bit better than just putting on a stock strut, um, which is the most basic way to go about it. Um, but our more popular modification is to change to a full coilover um, from the guys here at Shockworks. These have much better ride, like smoother ride, and better performance handling if you're on the street or the track. So I've got Chris here, he's going to kind of explain some of the features and why this is the go to item um, for us with the Targa Rally car and for customers on the road as well. Um, so Chris can take us, tell us a little bit about it. Sure, so I think the first thing that we can note is that we tune for a revised travel. So as you lower the car, you're actually bringing the wheel closer to the guard. Um, so with, with something like this, uh, you're sitting so close to the bump stop that it may not be tuned for that amount of damper travel. So we, we tune the damper overall to work in a much smaller range of travel. So we have better body control overall and better handling, but also we have it so if you do hit a pothole, it's not just going to bounce onto the bump stop and then bounce off it again. So I think that's the first sort of sort of thing that we go to. Do you, uh, like we can see here with the standard strut, you got this shaft here is quite, I don't know, it's kind of fairly skinny, um, even on this upgraded one, um, and even this um, other kind of generic coilover as well. Um, what's what's the deal with this one? This one looks okay. So these, different. even though they look the same with the with the large with the larger rod, yeah. they're actually different as far as mechanically. Yeah. So with with the factory dampers, these are a twin tube where they will have a second tube inside of it where the piston is working, um, and this is just a this is a you know different rod. Um, with this, this is a mono tube like our damper. However, this works using a large rod, and then there's a piston at the base of the damper here. Where with what we do is our damper rod is actually internal of the strut. This is an inverted strut. And then we have the damper body that would actually be here, traveling inside of the outer strut tube. So by doing this, we can run a much smaller shock rod overall, meaning we can run much higher gas pressures, meaning we have much better response and much better body control overall. That's like a feature, like I've heard people say about inverted, inverted monotube dampers um, that's like a feature of like really high-end race stuff, isn't it? Yes, it, it is. It's, um, it's a lot more durable because the guide bearings are 45 millimeters in diameter rather than all of the load of the wheel going onto a 22 millimeter rod. All of the load then goes onto a 45 mil body. We've already spent a lot of time around the track with these cars. So we have setups developed specifically for larger tires and more race sort of orientated setups and yeah. even working with Craig at Targa to um, provide a, you know, a stable car at 200 and 40 kilometers now, <laughs> kilometers now yeah yeah it's quite great one one last thing you're saying about the um the damper being um all that extra bearings and strength in there i think that's quite important on a mustang in particular a mustang's got a very heavy front end big engine if you've got a big supercharger that's really heavy as well um and then you get a lot of um load especially on the track coming through the front suspension because it's a mcpherson strut you have um a low offset wheel you're putting a further leverage on the strut which is going to add more load to it overall all right so we're moving on to the rear suspension um we've got featured here the stock strut so pretty unassuming there um we've got the shockworks um rear strut and the other coilover as well um you can see the other coilovers and the stock have the factory mount so we've found that these um, are prone to failure with a bit of hard driving and just if a car sits too low. So if it's, if it's on its bum basically on the ground, quite low, like a lot of people like setting up their Mustangs, they usually blow these mounts out. Um, so we had a bit of development with the guys here at Shockworks to add a billet upper mount with a much better bush in the top to take all the extra loads. Um, but what's some other features to make that really set this apart from you know, a stock strut and um, even another aftermarket strut. Yep, so um, we have a 12-step adjustment system here. Um, so we've spent a lot of time developing and tuning this. So at full soft, the car is still nice and comfortable at even normal 40, 60 kilometer speeds. 
uh, and is still safe and stable at 120 kilometers. But then if you put your car on the track or you do want to do some spirited driving, you have an adjustment range where on full hard the car is um, noticeably firm. Um, you have, a, you have a quite a large range there between soft and hard. Um, from there, we've also changed the overall travel of the vehicle. So we've found that we can change the compressed length and make the car travel a little bit deeper, meaning um, you're not sitting on the bump stop to lower the car. And uh, overall, the, just, the ride is a lot better. Cool. And on the rear as well, they've got the lowering spring. Um, looks like just a normal rear spring, um, but we've got this feature here as well. So what does this do? So this is an adjustable spring platform, so we can adjust the car. So usually there's different heights, uh, sorry, different weights left to right. So by having the spring platform here, we can set the car to be perfectly to the millimetre, the same left to right. So if there is 20 kilos over the back right wheel, we can, we can preload up the rear spring a couple of mil to take that into account. So the car always sits level. So when you come into Mustang Motorsport and get a set of Shockworks coilovers fitted, um, we have a preset height um, and setup that we like to run on these um, our preferred settings um, so that's where we like ride height and damper settings um, which are adjusted as you said on here and on the bottom here um, and that's the one that we've basically developed with the guys here and 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 think it's the best compromise for nice on the road and the street oh sorry on the track um, but um, we also help out with the guys from shockworks um, like if we do track days and things like that um, we can change and adjust everything to suit someone who's a bit more of a, of a track guy um, or if someone's more of a, um, likes just going for a cruise, it's nice and soft and smooth on the road. Yeah. So um, I think having the adjustability of all this and getting it adapted to what anyone wants, um, depending on you, whatever you're into, um, makes them really great product. So that's the Shockworks coilover kit for the S550 Mustang. Thanks, Chris, for coming out and showing us no, all the details and features. Happens. See you again soon. Cheers.